Hello everybody, my name is Benjamin Bloom. Um, I normally say I have just witnessed a football match and hold some fingers up for some goals, but I have just witnessed Ipswich Town owner Marcus Evans, who has been well, not a recluse, but deliberately um, camera shy. We haven't seen or heard from him since he's been the owner for the past 10 years. He's done his first interview interview, I'll say that loosely, um, with Steve Pearce, the club's media guy. It was filmed at the weekend. It ran 26 minutes. Um, now, before I get into my actual reaction, this is a net gain. So the the whole idea of this is a good thing. It's good that we get to see him, we get to hear him. I saw on TWCD people having a laugh betting on what his voice sounded like. I feel it had gone too long with that disconnect and now he's finally done it. I do think that is a positive thing. From what he was saying, I don't see him doing it again. Um, certainly not for a few years or in the event of great success or great disaster. So um, we might be playing this one back um, quite a lot, let's just say. Now, in terms of what he actually said and the content of what he said, I didn't make any notes. I don't think he said anything that we didn't already know or expect him to say. Ian Milne, the chief exec, is a very, very polished speaker and um, he kind of trots Marcus Evans' line very well. So I didn't really hear anything that I wasn't expecting to hear in business speak or, you know, this kind of cautious, not necessarily politicking, but you know the type of speak that we were going to get from him. But I must say, I have come away very disappointed in the respect that this was just clearly choreographed and scripted. So I started off watching... And the amazement of just seeing him and hearing him took up the first sort of two minutes. And then I'm starting looking into his eyes and seeing, hang on a minute, he's, they're, they're darting across. If you look at my eyes at the moment, mine are not darting because I'm speaking off the cuff. I'm speaking my mind. I'm speaking from my heart. So I can look straight down there. Um, so I start watching his eyes and I can't take my eyes off them. And... I'm going to put my neck on the line and say the whole interview was scripted. I didn't see a moment. There was the odd reaction uh, to a question, which presumably were all agreed um, in advance, but I didn't see a real reaction or thought that seemed to come off the cuff from Evans. I mean... I've already had a quick look in Twitter and people are raising this and saying it doesn't matter. I, I'm afraid it does matter to me because um, I wanted to get to know Marcus Evans a little bit. I wanted to know how much he cared, how much he knew about the club and what he knew about football. And I'm none the wiser because... If he's reading off, uh, I'm, I'm sure they don't have auto cues at Portman Road. I'm sure it's probably a TV monitor or, um, you know, with, with wording up there. If he's reading that, then I, you know, I don't know who wrote that. He may not know half of what he just said and just been resting it off when he's, when he's talking about Millwall and Brentford and uh, Preston nearly being in the playoffs and in reference to their budgets. I don't know that he actually knows that because um, this was a bit of a whitewashed job. So that that troubled me quite a lot. I was, I was thinking as I was watching, if I knew nothing about a subject and I wanted to blag that I did know something about a subject, that's exactly what I would do. I would, I would stage an interview and I would um, read the answers off. This may not be the case. He may just um, have wanted to get his facts right. But the, I think the thing that troubles me is we've been sold an interview and what we got was a speech. 
You know when you see the Tory party conference or something and a speechwriter has written a speech and the politician reads it off in rousing style or whatever, I would have preferred we got that, um, you know. But it was dressed up as an interview, which it wasn't. And I think my takeaway from this, without wanting to be super, super negative, is disappointment that we didn't really hear a real answer to a real question from Evans and we're kind of none the wiser about him. We think we know about his principles. Look, some of the things he said were good. He says he wants to um, have a coach that works through a system of playing attractive football. He said um, he said that uh, raising the ticket price was a mistake but when someone is admitting to a mistake I don't want them to read it off um, a Word document. I want to know that they know from the heart it was a mistake. Do you know what I mean? I want them to tell me with some emotion that they made a they made a mistake. Anyway, I think I've made that point. But um, he seems to, or he's being advised to know what he's doing. So I guess we just have to have to go with it. But um, I feel a little bit deflated by it, as you can as you can probably see. I don't expect a football owner to be some charismatic front man. Um, you know, who can speak um, off the cuff and to the camera and, you know, make his point uh, impressively. I don't expect that. And if you're not that, then then you shouldn't do it. All I wanted was a bit of, a bit more honesty and for it to be a bit more real. And I don't think the amount of time and money I spend on Ipswich Town that that's an unreasonable request from me. Anyway, I'm still processing it, so I'd be really interested to know what people think. Am I too down on it? Um, Do you feel the same? Did you want to see something a bit different? Would there have been a better way to do it? I don't know. Like I say, I'm still processing it. I might change my mind in in 30 minutes. I might change my mind when I get some comments back and some tweets back. Let me know what you think in the comments, please. Normal rubbish, thumbs up, subscribe, Twitter, at Benjamin Bloom. And, yeah, I'm sure I'll watch that interview a few more times and... um, Really interested in the reaction. Right, back to work.